Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. So, new wireless gear for Kevy today. Um, I ordered this a couple weeks ago from Long McQuaid. Finally came in. It's a Samson or Samson uh, Airline 88X Fitness Headset Wireless System. Now this is for performers, uh, singers, active people, etc. And it is true wireless. Now, what I've been using up until now for wireless. Uh, whenever I've been doing, you know, outdoor stuff or even in our church, has been this kit from Fifine. Now, it's a good kit. Don't get me wrong, it works great. I've had no interference problems, no dropouts. Biggest problem is it runs batteries in both units and it's costed me, oh, a lot of money in batteries because you have to use energizers or Duracells in order to get the best performance time and reliability out of uh, gear like this and uh, so you're stuck with a body pack too um, which kind of interferes with having my guitar strap on because uh, no matter which way I do things I gotta be able to get my guitar on and off my body without choking myself and the only way to do that is to put the headset on first with the wire behind me uh, but even beside me doesn't matter because you know in beside me in the front will interfere behind me the strap catches it it's just a bit of a pain but at the same time it does cost a, a small fortune on batteries and I've probably spent as much on batteries as I have on this unit which was 550 bucks Canadian um, you know which to some people that's a lot of money and but to me it's not a lot of money if it's going to get the job done for you and at the same time this is actual true wireless which means no more body packs now there are a few models that I looked at um, they have the 77 which is quite the nice unit but it still uses batteries and I wanted to get away from batteries right so this has a rechargeable battery system uh, which is quite cool um, and it's all built into one kit so we've got the tran the receiver box here just grab this out of the packaging and you've got a hundred channels apparently on this thing and it's all on UHF as well so no interference with my wireless guitar gear either which is also true wireless I have the boss set so no cables no body packs I love it um, and I've been really enjoying the boss set so you do get an included uh, cable it's a short cable it's an unbalanced connection but you can go uh, balanced uh, XLR or unbalanced of course uh, with this cable that's included um, you do have of course the uh, power supply for the unit they give you supposed to be four I got three oh they got a stainless steel screen on here already so I guess that's number four that's kind of neat. Um, anyway, so you get some windscreens. Uh, mounting screws, because it does come with a rack mount kit. Uh, so if you want to rack mount this, you can. Uh, we won't be rack mounting it. I bought this primarily to use at church, but if we do any uh, kind of outdoor events with the church, I'll be able to take this unit with me, plug in, hook up, no big deal. Uh, either way, which will be nice. We've got a power adapter plug, a couple of these. We've got the USB charge cable here. Now this is a magnetic charge cable as well. Um, let's just get this out of the package here. It's like you gotta destroy stuff just to get into it here. There we go, that's out. Now one of the, the on the reviews that I read, one of the complaints was is that the, the magnet was weak on this charge cable. Ooh, it does have the adjustable headband piece already installed. Very nice. That's pretty cool. They don't even tell you that that actually comes with the kit when you're looking this up online. That off there. So there's our headset there. I think I'm gonna try the uh, the stainless steel uh, windscreen first tonight. And of course they do suggest if you wear glasses to put the headpiece thing on first. This is gonna be really weird to fit. 
Yeah, that is definitely really strange. I'll uh, have to figure that out. Anyways, let's check check the magnet on this thing. And it goes in one way. Well, that's not too bad. That's half decent. So it'll, it'll stay there. It will come off, but you're not supposed to do that anyway. So that's kind of interesting. So I'll have to put that on the charger. I'll figure out how to get the thing to fit my head later. You can't, by the way, bend these earpieces. If you do, you'll snap them. Goodbye warranty, by the way, if you do that. Uh, let's see what other goodies we got in here. We've got another power adapter which has the regular plug in on it, which, yeah, that's the one we're going to need for this. Just going to make sure that's hooked up. We've got some deoxit mechanical and electrical grease. That's cool. Okay. I'm sure we'll read in the manual what that's about. More rack mount parts. Oh, our USB uh, charger. Okay, so we got a USB wall charger. Right on. Okay, so this should go with this probably. Let's, uh, let's play assembly here. Okay, so you got to pull down on this tab. So get the one end in first, pull down, push and lock. There we go. And of course we have another one, which is going to be for the regular wall art for the power of the main unit. Same deal. Put the tab in the back, pull down on the button, lock it in place. There you go. That's all the goodies. Cool. No actual. Uh, no, there's no actual instruction instructions. Kind of nice though. They give you uh, three of the foam ones and the stainless steel one. Um, I think I'll take one of the foam ones with me tonight. We have band practice tonight for church, and I wanted, I was hoping this would come in time to do this tonight, um, and it did, so that's great. So let's put all this stuff back in the box that we don't need. And, well, I don't know what the deoxid stuff's about. These we don't need. not going to need the cable either, but I want to check this out a little bit better. So I can pull that back a little, that back a little. So I guess the idea is push and hold. There's nothing to activate the... Uh, Oh, there we go. Push and hold. Turn it on and off. You do have a mute button too. Your power button is also your mute button. And uh, you have your gain control here too. So if you're finding you've got a lack of gain for some unknown reason, I don't know why it would happen. I mean, you've got lots here for, for input to the board here. Um, and then of course you've got your gain control on your board. And then you can actually override the board. Uh, sound tech with this end on your head. Um, scan and power. Oh yes, we did have a manual. That was my bad. Sorry about that. Call that a bit of a blooper, yeah. Huh? There you go. So, um, let's just take a basic look here. It's pretty straightforward. Press the scan button on the front of the receiver to scan for available channels. Once the best channel is selected, the receiver will enter IR set mode. Make sure the headset transmitter is fully charged. 
blah, blah, blah. Turn on the power to the transmitter by pressing and holding the power button for three seconds. The indicator LED will uh, light will go yellow when the button when the button is pressed and turns green when released, and it's powered on. Quick start stop. Um, it is recommended to use one of the included foam or stainless steel windscreens, which they only give you one stainless steel windscreen. When using the headset, this will help reduce breath and wind noise, also popping, to attach the stainless steel windscreen, line up the windscreen, which they've already attached it for me, so that's kind of cool. So, let me tell you about if you hear distortion, you can key it down or up or whatever you need to do. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward stuff here. So. Pretty well laid out manual, so that's awesome. Um, back to this thing now. This is kind of a interesting fit setup. I don't know. I have to figure this thing out to get the best fit out of it, but. glasses. I'm almost wondering, yeah, is it going to fall off my head? Nope, it's not going to fall off my head too easily. That's a good sign. I do have to move that back a little bit more though. I'm going to have to figure that out. Just to just got to go back a little more. Oh, there's one. Much better. So that fits actually pretty good. You want to keep the mic not too close to your mouth, but not too far away either at the same time. Kind of needs to squish in a little bit more this way. Need a bit of a squish in. That would work. Ah, we'll figure it out. But that's the that's the idea behind this, anyhow. So you got true wireless mobility here, but uh, you got to figure it to get it to fit your head. I'm gonna have to actually read the manual on this because um, I've seen uh, videos on this where they you know they they squish this in and you know because you can bend the sides they say right. But um, I'm thinking that might not be the best idea because that's pretty stiff plastic. I don't see how. Bending that in is going to really help you any. But, um, yeah, we'll get it figured out. See what we think of it. Um, I will, like I said, be using this tonight at church to do our practice with. See how it works out. Um, and then I'll be using it at home uh, during the rest of the week. And uh, I will do some videos of this thing. And also, uh, we should have no problem doing a review. I don't see any reason why not with before Sunday and uh, let you know what I really truly think about this set but uh, right now is to try and get this thing to fit my head right that's going to be the, the bit of a challenge because it does need to come in more you know it's kind of a little loose fitting in here you know so that's one thing I gotta figure out and like I said you can't bend these because you will break them people have broken them and they call this thing junk right like read the manual it says you don't bend this part okay anyways um, not a lot of videos on YouTube actually uh, I only saw mainly company videos on this and um, I seen one guy do a comparison that was supposed to be with this and another model but I didn't see anywhere in his video where he actually used this actual headset so I have no idea why he would put it in his title um, but um, anyways, we're definitely going to give this a good honest go and see if it's actually worth the money that I just spent on this thing. Um, I'm hoping it is because, yeah, I need true wireless. Um, I can't tolerate battery packs anymore and I'm sick and tired of putting out for batteries. At least this is rechargeable, you know, and it's very inexpensive to replace the battery whenever you need to do that. So that's a big bonus too. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Sorry about the blooper on the manual thing. That was my bad. Just I'm impatient. I've been 
at Long McQuaid all day waiting for this thing to show up on the truck and it finally got in and I'm like, yes! And I had to rush home and, you know, so there you go. Anyways, thanks again. We'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.